It helps me alleviate some stress, you feel me? Because I know it's a lot of pent up aggression. I have inside my room thinking about stuff all day long and for me to get the opportunity to come here and express myself the way I want to without somebody telling me you're right or wrong, it's a very good opportunity. Being in the room or in general, just the whole feeling of being detained is not the place to be, obviously. Um, it's better for us to go through what we go through but not much in a negative way. We want to prevent things like that, which is just staying focused, you know, and indulging into something positive because that's what builds us in life. And this program would really help and benefit in our lives as well. Even the, even all the, the temptations, the tribulations that we go through in life, art is, is one of the, the psychiatric, you know, like little thing to help us out in any type of situation, you know, so that class actually inspired me to keep going. I'm not a person to express myself. I don't tell nobody my feelings. I always hold back and being in this place. Nobody care or want to know about your feelings. So I was used to it. And then they had inside out writers, and then we had the UCLA program where you kind of express yourself more. People ask you about your day. They actually seem like they care. So with that, it kind of, it gave me something to look forward to, and in my own way, I kind of learned how to express myself. Yeah, so I kind of learned to express myself a lot better, and it kind of just gave me something to look forward to. Yeah, I just want them to know that like, what we, are, we are learning things here that we probably wouldn't get a chance to learn if we were at home, because we wouldn't be focused on doing these type of things, you know, we're going to be focused on art, we're going to be focused on actually sitting here in legislative theater. And that's what we'll be like doing this, not just what we think about college life. We'll be in the streets trying to do something way different, but as these programs come in here, we, they change this, like they change this, they make us a better person at the end of the day. So I want to change nothing because it's changing us. I actually get mad if they don't bring me up for college class. I never got mad about going to school, not going to school, you feel me? Like, oh, I'm mad because I didn't go to school, you feel me? I actually get Man, if I don't go to school, you feel me? So I'm actually enjoying this this opportunity that I was given, you feel me? I'm taking advantage of it and I'm trying to put I'm trying to put my arm to it because at the end of the day, we're learning skills that we can use outside of, on the outs. So when I get released, I can say that, oh, I took a Malcolm X class. I took a legislative, legislative theater class. I took a, um, a art class, you feel me? And I can actually say something that's to my name, you feel me? So I, me, I did this. Me personally, I'm glad I came to jail, just so I can experience life a little bit more and see things differently, learn how to do things independently. Also, they started this, so the question is, why stop it? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Better than this. Why would you stop something that would help us mindfully? Create with, with just, why would you stop something that, that fills us with creativity and to just see things differently? Shouldn't, shouldn't be a way to stop it. Why should we limit ourselves to one class? I think there should be more classes. It's for me all together. I think that the more opportunities we have to learn, the smarter we can get. We're not monsters. We're not animals. We're not numbers. We're not PDJs. We're not none of that. We artists. We scholars. We people. Exactly. Mm, we're human we're beings. We're human beings. <laughs> Never forget that.